They're moving that way. And then when they return, they will appear the other. Down, and they move little by little. Okay? So basically that is the idea. And then it returns this. That's it. So we have the movement for the insects. Okay? So these insects. Now, what can we do now? Well, there is another thing. We cannot see these things, okay? We know that the blocks, these uh, edges, they work okay. So they are okay, so they are fine. So when we start the game, so... But what if we just make them transparent? So for that, we're going to go here in looks. Then we select one of these purple ones that it says change color or change effect by, and we're going to select here uh, I guess it is ghost. <clears throat> we're going to select ghost and we're going to set it to 100. And when we uh, start, we're going to change show and change by uh, to ghost effect. Then we do the same for the other one, the right and for the left. For the left, uh, we did it. For the right, we go here to change color effect by 100 we select ghost we just insert it after show when we click and then we just click in here so they are not visible but they are here well when they need to we start click this thing and that's it they are detecting the collisions, they are appearing, disappearing, but we cannot see them. Okay, that's very nice. Now, we need to move our beautiful ship. Okay, so then we continue with more things, but I guess we are going to move our uh, ship. So, well, how to do that? How to move the ship? Well, to move the ship, we can use um, things here, like we are going to select the ship. And then we are going to select something when start. So probably the ship is not going to be like visible. Okay. So we are going to hide it right now. But first let's just work with this. So we want to move this ship. Okay. And we are going to create two procedures. One that it's right. Go right. Go right. And then we are going to duplicate this one. No, we are going to add another one that is go left. Go right and go left. So right positive number and left it will be negative number. So now we have the procedures. Now we need to call the procedures. So we are going to use here events and then when key press. So we're going to select when left arrow, it is like selected, we're going to call go left. And we do the same events when, and we select right, go right. Then we just try it. We select click on here. And that's it. Oh, sorry, here is a space. When right arrow. Then we just click in here. And we can move, we can move this little ship. Of course, if you want your ship to go faster, well, you just change it. That's it. Okay? So now, and then, what else? Uh, we can move the ship. But we don't want to move the ship when um, it is not like available. When we start the game, we don't want to uh, to see the ship. So until we have these enemies created, okay? So we have this thing. We have the enemies, and when we press start, uh, the bar. When we press the space bar, okay, so when we press the space bar, 
we are going to see this guy so we are going to select show and then we are going to select here you can show this thing and when you stop oh sorry no here this is just for if you don't want to use it in here so now when we start the game events when we click we are going to uh, this ship is going to be like high so again we wait for this and probably we need a star or a message for that I guess we have something like that I am very new to this okay so say hello maybe you can add a message over there I don't know if you have a message here in the backdrop switch backdrop no you just have to add it to a sprite so probably here I just say hello 40 seconds when you press and you can say something like press space bar to start probably something like that so we start here oh but it's no not in this case so we just hide it here because it's not visible so anything from him it is visible we just click on insect and probably insect it will do the trick so let's see and we are going to show this message so after we created the clones press the spacebar to start that's it and when you press the spacebar the ship will be visible but not very fast I guess for let's wait here uh, control wait for one second and show the space bar okay so well you can save here your project and we are almost ready so the ship is moving now and now we want to fire okay so I guess in this case we are going to use a bullet we're going to create a bullet so to create the bullet we're going to do the same we are going to go here to paint new sprite and then you can create your bullet you can use convert to vector or you can use bitmap so in this case I will do something pretty 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 similar so probably something green I don't know why green so that's it then we just check the size we just drag it in here to see and I just reduce the size of this and make it thinner let's see I guess that's okay so um, just let me move it up and that's it the position also over there so we check motion we check the initial position it is in here so because we move it so we just drag this one and then when we start the game so we're going to move it over there and of course this guy it's going to be high okay when we press this Raise the space bar and we're not going to appear so now how to appear the bullet or to work with the bullet we're going to assign a key we're going to select when key press and we're going to select in this case I guess I can use A or S I will use A when I press A what is going to happen well we are going to fire so first we're going to change the position of the of the bullet and we're going to because imagine if we are here so the bullet has to 
go to this part when before it gets like fire so to do that we are going to use motion go to and then we are going to use the position of the ship we don't have the position of the ship so we can to create two variables let's call it a x ship and another one that it's y ship so we have x ship and y ship when we start in ship okay when we start we want to set the y ship then you go to motion go to the bottom and then you select y ship to position okay so i guess that's the one that we can use so uh or not let me see because we need this value when we fire so i guess we have to use the position of this um, ship but we are going to use it we are going to get it from um, yes from the ship but we are going to define this value in here so let's go to the start set 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 if we set this to y that's okay so let's move it in here and let's insert this value in the movement of the ship so every time we move the ship okay we are going to update this value well the y ship we know that the y ship is not going to change for the ship so we are going to set it to this and click start but when we change the x the x has to be changed every time we are moving the ship so we say this and we refresh this variable okay we're going to set the x ship to x we're going to duplicate this one x i'm not sure if this is gonna work guys remember that and just new ship to x and ship to x let's drag these things to make them visible so that it's going to refresh every time we're moving we are refreshing this so you have here the values let's see if this is happening you have x you have now we can compare this with the ship x position you select here x and then you just move 75 75 85 so they are the same okay so now this is good because you have here these variables in real time well now